everyone, please welcome and join me Indian Punjabi style cooking, best of all my easy steps cooking. I'm going to bring you today mouth watering, delightful, delicious tandoori drumstick. I'm going to make tandoori drumstick chicken in oven, not in tandoor. And I'm going to share with you how do I do it. Let's get started. The ingredients we need uh, drumsticks, already cleaned the the drumsticks, I take the skin out, I make a three cuts on each drumstick, I have a 16 pieces. Need one tablespoon of uh, salt, black pepper, red chili, curry powder, mango powder, ginger paste, garlic paste. Each one of them consists of one tablespoon olive oil, two tablespoon. I'm going to use the color, red color. So. The most important ingredient we're going to need one cup of yogurt. I'll bring my olive oil and bring my own spices in there ginger, garlic paste, mango powder, curry powder, black pepper. Once all spices are added with yogurt and olive oil, ginger, garlic paste, I'll mix it. You mix it well. It's all mixed. Now I'll bring the color. Good amount of color, which is uh, I would say one teaspoon. This color is going to bring our chicken as a tandoori color. Once the color is mixed, I'll bring my chicken. And this is the important thing that we need to use our hands. I'm going to use my hands. I'm going to make sure that all chickens are fully marinated. Seasoning goes inside the chicken. Once we eat it, it tastes good. It's all looking beautiful. The chicken looking good. I'll use the plastic wrap to seal it. And I'll let it sit for four hours. I'm going to put it in my fridge. My chicken is marinated for four hours sitting in the fridge. I just took it out. I'm going to open it. It's beautiful looking. Look at that red chili is coming up, floating all over. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna move around one time. Looks good. So I'm going to move this one back and I'll bring the tray up so you can see it. What I will do, I will lay out my chicken into the tray. As for space saving purposes, you lay out one this way, one facing other side. The same thing I'm going to do on the other side. It's looking beautiful. Couple more left. Two, four, six, seven, two, four, six, seven, fourteen, six. So we got sixteen uh, chicken pieces. Now we got two extra, so I have to lay out in the middle because there is not enough room on the side. Uh, when you cook with the easy step, one thing is uh, good thing that you don't have to worry about greasing your pan you don't have to put any oil on your pans you just put your chicken straight onto the pan and now I'm gonna show you basically how we're going to improve our cooking how we're going to make it more moist and more juicy our tandoori chicken so I'm going to take this one to my oven and I'm going to cook for 25 minutes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. I have uh, my oven uh, started at uh, 450 degree bake and it's a convection bake. I'm going to uh, let it set for 25 minutes. It's going to be cooked well, but after 20 minutes, I'm going to check it. I'm going to put my tray out. One thing I wanted to mention to you that when you cook with easy step and uh, I always uh, keep saying please try this method and you will like it.
I'm going to fill up my tray. This one takes almost two cup. I have a smaller tray, if you put a bigger tray then you take more. So this way when we cook, so I'm going to push it back. Then we're going to cook it this way. It will expedite the cooking and our meat, chicken, any meat, it will stay moist. And when it's moist, you enjoy the cooking. You enjoy the meat. So we'll be back after 25 minutes. It's exactly 25 minutes. I said I'm going to come back at 20 minutes and uh, then uh, I'll uh, turn it over. <laughs> I just got busy. So now exactly 25 minutes. Look at this. I have my convection oven going on. Look how beautiful they are. Well cooked. I did not even uh, turn over if I can show it to you. Look at this, the other side. So what I will do, um, I'm going to turn the oven off and I'm just going to turn it and I'm going to let it sit maybe one or two minutes in there. And look at that, super moist. It's already cooked. This is uh, one of the advantages cooking with easy steps. That you don't have to turn it the chicken over once you if you set your oven for 25 minutes, you set it and forget it. You know, automatically it shuts off and the time you come back, it's all well cooked. And not only well cooked, it will cook up to your perfection. What you really want. Look at that, how the steam coming out. And if I can show you my water, the water is still there. All the fat, whatever came out of the chicken, that went inside. That's what it's called a healthy cooking. So our chicken is done. I'm going to serve into my serving platter. My beautiful, delicious looking tandoori drumstick, but made in the oven with easy steps. I can't even adjust myself, but I have to share with you. Take a look how beautiful they look. I'm going to share with you, look how beautiful, I'm going to grab any one of them. It's so heavy, I'm going to put it down, I'll grab one piece and mmm, mmm, so yummy, mmm. Look at this, that is the moist. To perfection. Mm. If I keep eating, then I won't be able to finish the video. So I'll finish that later. So thank you for joining my Indian Punjabi style, best of all easy steps cooking. Tandoori drumsticks made in oven. And if you like it, please give me thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe and share. And I'm going to see you soon with the new recipe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.